Okay, let's find partial derivatives. This time we have a square root and we have three separate variables. So x, y, and z. We're gonna calculate each one of these partial derivatives. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to do to get going on this is I'm gonna rewrite everything that's on the inside here as being raised to the one half power as opposed to being a square root over all of it. What that's gonna allow us to do is we're gonna be able to use the power rule in conjunction with the chain rule to calculate each one of these derivatives. So the first thing we wanna do is calculate the partial derivative with respect to x of this function. So to do so, chain rule and power rule. So we're gonna bring down the exponent. We're gonna copy down everything that started inside that set of parentheses. And we're gonna reduce the exponent by one. So um, one half minus one makes negative one half for our new exponent. From there, we need to take the derivative of what's on the inside here. But remember that we're treating x as though it's our only variable. All right, so the derivative of this first term with respect to x is gonna be 10 x and we reduce it by one, so it's to the first power. The derivative of this next term, we don't have any x's here, so we treat this as though it's all constant. So its derivative is gonna be zero. I'm not gonna write a plus zero here. And then finally, the derivative of this last term, there are no x's here either, so we treat it as though these are all constants, so its derivative is also zero. So again, we have another plus zero at the end, but we can leave that off. We may clean this up just slightly by saying 10x multiplied by the one half out in front makes 5x, and then just copy down everything that's on the inside of our parentheses raised to that exponent. Okay, moving on to uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Um, pretty similar as far as our work goes, as far as we're gonna use the power rule, bring the exponent down, copy down everything that's on the inside. reduce the exponent by one, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside here with respect to y. So the first term, that's a constant or we're treating it like a constant in this situation, so it's zero. The derivative of the middle term, this one does have a y, so we're gonna have to bring the exponent down and multiply. So we get six y. And then the derivative of this last term, again, no y, so we treat that all as constants, that's gonna have a derivative of zero. So plus a zero. Again, just cleaning this up a little bit, we can say six y multiplied by this one half out in front can make three y and then copy down everything else that was inside the parentheses raised to the exponent. All right, last one, partial derivative with respect to z. Starts out in much the same fashion. You're gonna bring the one half, the exponent down in front. You're gonna copy everything that's on the inside here. reduce the exponent by one, so we get that negative one half. But then the key is what's on the inside here, this is gonna be a zero for its derivative because no z's, and we're treating this as z is our variable. So zero plus zero because no z's multiplied by, I guess we have four times two makes eight z. Again, just the last cleaning up, eight z multiplied by a half makes four z's, and then copy everything else back down. All right, as you work through these, just be careful. You have to focus on exactly what your variable or what we're treating as our variable is going to be. Every step of the way that if it doesn't have a variable, it's gonna be treated as though it's a constant. So hopefully this helps you in working through partial derivatives with more than one variable. All right, good luck.